Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this is the 2023 Kia Sportage Hybrid. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what makes this one so good compared to the X-Pro I tested a few weeks ago. First, I wanna say huge thanks to Pelche Kia here in Tyler for loaning me this vehicle for today. And this vehicle is made special by what's under the hood. This is actually a smaller 1.6 liter turbo four than what was in that X-Pro I tested from Pelche Kia a few weeks back. But given that it is a hybrid system, it is more powerful. The X-Pro had 187 horsepower, this has 227 and it definitely translates when you're on the road. Shutting the hood and taking a look at this one, it is a little bit less rugged and more refined, but I think very classy in this dark red paint job. And look at that metal flake. Doesn't it just look beautiful out in this East Texas sunlight? This one does have Kia's smart key access system, so you can get into the car by pushing that button up here. Very similar proportions. If you want to know more about the styling of this vehicle or interior and exterior bits about it, go check out that X-Pro video. But uh, let's move inside so I can show you some of the advantages of going with this hybrid edition. Starting up the SX Prestige Hybrid, you get the curved 12.3 uh, inch uh, dual displays up front and a very, very good system up here. Your detonator style key does have a few additional buttons for the Smart Park system. So it will actually pull forward and backward out of a parking spot for you, which means you get this rotary dial shifter here instead of the mechanical one that was in that X-Pro. In this one, you still get Syntex uh, synthetic seats, but they are very comfortable. And these front seats are heated and ventilated with two-person memory. Really like the Harman Kardon sound system on this one. And don't forget this handy door pull for when the door is wide open to allow you to shut it. So, sitting inside the 23 Kia Sportage SX Prestige all-wheel drive, I'm actually going to pull out the window sticker because what is really impressive beyond the $37,995 price tag of this one is the fuel economy. 38 mpg across the board. Quite impressive uh, for a vehicle that is 38,000. So, 38,000, 38 mpg does really good on the road. You've got this rotary dial shifter uh, that does excellent uh, for being able to just quickly flick it in to drive and go. Being that this one is an all-wheel drive, it has a lot of the similar all-wheel drive sy systems and setup as that X-Pro that I drove, but this one is considerably more powerful with a uh, 40 more horsepower, you definitely feel it behind the wheel. This one is also a little more civilized for on-road driving because it is made for comfortable highway cruising down the road. But let's see just how it does when you floor it. All right, it's a whole lot better than the 187 horsepower from that 2.5 liter in that X-Pro. I think this would be the tram I would be shopping for if I were in the market for a Kia Sportage. What is really great about the Sportage in general is that it is Kia's longest running nameplate and it has grown over the years to fit more and more modern audiences and driving tastes. This one has actually got the most interior space of its class. It's got a huge back seat, as you will see me demonstrate in the X-Pro video, and it has got a very large rear storage compartment as well. Just so much room in this vehicle. I, I am just impressed in how much interior space Kia was able to get in this vehicle. And then going back to on-road characteristics, it is very calm, very quiet, rattle-free, very, very nice to live with in here. 
This one does have more sporty look textured plastic up here on the dash. None of the uh, fake wood of that X Pro model that we tested. This has got a more of a uh, carbon fiber look uh, or metallic, I don't know, aluminum look, but it is definitely plastic and that's okay. You still get this dual function screen down here that controls both your climate controls and your multimedia controls. Perhaps my only real nitpick with this vehicle. What I absolutely love are the two 12.3 inch screens up front that allow you to access everything when it comes to the multimedia. And as you saw, as I put my blinker on, it does have blind spot monitoring that does an amazing job of helping you see what is in your blind spot when you put that blinker on. So if I put my right blinker on, it changes this power meter uh, to my right camera. If I put my left blinker on, it changes the speedometer uh, to see what is in my left blind spot. This does have Kia's active safety equipment and driver aids, so it does have lane keep, lane tracing, all the stuff you would expect from a modern uh, crossover SUV. This is a very nice, very comfortable, very well equipped $38,000 SUV. I am really struggling to find something that I would change or do differently in here, and really it just comes down to this climate control and infotainment setup. Other than that, I, I, I really do think this is the Kia Sportage to buy. This is perhaps the compact crossover to buy, giving the leader in the segment, the RAV4 and the Honda CRV, a real run for their money. If you are not shopping Kias, I don't know what you're doing. So at nearly $38,000, this SX Prestige all-wheel drive hybrid model is quite a bang for your buck. And with over 40 MPG on the highway, this thing is really fuel efficient. With the added power, I don't know why you'd go with any other model besides this hybrid. If you want to know more about this one and what Pelche Kia has on their lot, be sure and visit their website linked down in the description below. But until next time, gearheads, bye.